Plural noun proposition papers. Today we're talking about pop culture. We are going to assign a lot of pop culture plural noun proposition papers. And the reason is because you're really influenced more by radio, TV, movies, um, you know, uh, music, now social media, than you are reading a book or that you are uh, listening to your parents or even, unfortunately, going to church. And so we recognize that the, the culture that's surrounding us is having way too much influence. The Bible warns us about that over and over and over again and warns Israel to stay pure, to stay holy, to be separate from the the, the, the ideology of the nations around them. Here as American Christians especially, we do not do a very good job of, of, of turning out the noise, right? Tur silencing uh, those who are, who are wicked, those who are sinful, those who are mocking our religion, our, our Bible, our God. And instead, we... We, we watch movies and TV we shouldn't watch. We, we listen to radio and, and music that, that we probably shouldn't listen to. And I know that, you know, this just sounds like, oh, gosh, here's another old man, a parent, a pastor, a teacher telling me what I shouldn't do. We just want to have fun. The problem is, so a man thinketh he is. And so you sing a song over and over and over again and it has an influence and an impact on the way you live and if you and if you think i'm lying just listen to the artists just listen to the people who are writing the music who are writing the movies who are writing the tv shows and they will tell you well here's the meaning behind this song and this is what i was hoping that to to teach and influence people with and so that does then have a long lasting impact on your life and on your soul. And so we want to uh, give you assignments that take a look at pop culture, that, that take a look at the songs you listen to, the movies that you watch, the TV shows, and write plural noun proposition papers. Uh, if you think this is a great movie that you should watch, do well, tell me about it. You think this is a good, a good song and has a great message? You know, prove your point. Give me, give me your position. So we're going to challenge you a little bit with, with the, the songs that you're singing, you're, again, that you're listening to. And, and today we're just going to start off with something really, really easy. Look, just, just, just tell me three songs that you like, right? I want to know your three favorite songs. So we're going to begin, you know, we got to determine our, uh, the proposition of our paper. These are the five steps that we use in order to formulate our plural noun proposition, we have to determine, determine what the question is, determine what the answer is, right? Uh, so right now on the paper, it's saying, what are your three favorite songs? Okay, great. We're gonna compose an outline. Um, what, what are our three points or three bullet point outlines? We gotta prepare the body, we gotta support our, or explain or define why we like these songs, come up with a great introduction, finally formulate a conclusion. So. That's what we're asking you to do. We're going to ask you to do this over and over and over again with uh, your pop culture. We're going to ask you to do it in the plural noun proposition format. So um, some questions to ask. And these are some questions that you can put down on your, your brainstorming paper. And you think, oh, I don't need to brainstorm. I, don't, I, don't, I, I already know. Do you? Uh, I, when I am asked these, these kinds of questions, like, wow. I really, I feel overwhelmed. You want to ask me my top three favorite songs of all time? Whoa. So what I have to do, and I think I showed you an example of this of movies, is like I have to put these in some kind of category, some kind of genre. So, you know, the first thing I thought about was, okay, uh, country music, that's easy, right? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just talk about my favorite country songs. And I started thinking about that. It's like, no, that's... That's too broad. It's too, too much there. So I had to think about, okay, so the genre is country, but then I'm going to go to j just the uh, males, right? M male vocals, no, no females, no, no duets, just my, my 
three favorite male songs. And then what I did on my brainstorming paper was I said, okay, well, how do I pick my three favorite songs? Well, I have favorite artists. So my favorite songs are probably from my favorite artists. That's why they're my favorite artists because I like their songs. I like their songs because they're my favorite artists. So I thought of my three favorite artists and that's how I came up with my three favorite songs, country songs. Um, that's my brainstorming process, but there's other things you can uh, ask these questions, kind of describe your reasons for uh, choosing these songs. Now in brainstorming and coming up with this, you're also starting to formulate um, some of your supporting sentences. So uh, describe the music, right? What, what type of instruments are there? What type of, um, you know, do you like big bands? Do you like solo guitar? Do you like rock? And, you know, describe the music. What about the musician? You know, it's the individual musician. Uh, maybe you like vocals. Do you like the the tone of, of certain singers, or or you're really into the to the lyrics. You're re, you're all about the words. You're all about the message that's being conveyed. Uh, describe any controversy. Maybe there's controversy to this song that you're listening to or that you like. Are there any benefits? Are there benefits to let's say music in this case? Um, are there things that are of value? Are there things that are not good for you? Is that even possible? What limits or restrictions uh, should you or could you put on your music? I mean, now you go to buy music and they'll have an E for explicit. What does that mean? You know, it's just kind of like your movie ratings with the R or the PG, um, the G ratings. What, what does that mean? Um, and then finally, you know, explain maybe some practical applications. Maybe the, the song evokes... Um, some some kind of response to you or encourages you or makes you sad or, or reminds you of something. So what, what's the practical application? Then once we've done that, we've brainstormed, we've thought about our kind of our, um, our artist, our songs, the reasons why. Now we can start formulating, okay, well, what are the three key points? So for me, I came down to, all right, I I picked Blake Shelton, Garth Brooks, and Tim McGraw. Those were my three guys. And I was like, all right, favorite Blake Shelton song, Austin. Favorite Garth Brooks song, Unanswered Prayers. Favorite Tim McGraw song, uh, Live Like You Were Dying. And so that becomes the structure then of my, my key points and then my, my proposition statement. So I start out with those songs, Austin, Unanswered Prayers, and Live Like You Were Dying. Uh, came up with my plural noun proposition. Really, this one's a, a this is a, a you know soft toss. You know, my three favorite country songs are, you know, here's kind of my outline, and I just fill in the blank at that point. So I came up with um, first favorite is unanswered prayer. Second favorite is live like you're dying. Third favorite is Austin. Now here's where it becomes fun. Why? Why are those my favorite songs? Well, now I can use the supporting subheadings to explain why Austin was my favorite song, why Unanswered Prayer is my favorite song, why Live Like You're Dying is my favorite song. So first, describe the song. Are you even familiar with the song? So I might have to lay out some of the, uh, some of the lyrics of, of the song to, in order to explain why I like these songs. I like lyrics. I, I really enjoy uh, the message behind it, and so in these songs, they uh, they have some some uh, some great lyrics, and then in Austin just has a, a really cool twist um, to the whole song. So it's a story. The, the song's a story. So that's why I like it. But I'm gonna have to explain or describe the story. Otherwise, if you've never heard it, you have no idea what I'm talking about, right? That's the point. That's the point of a plural noun proposition paper. And I wanna I wanna challenge you right now because. If I say my three favorite country songs are Austin, Unanswered Prayers, and Live Like You Were Dying, do you even know what those songs are? Now think about it. If you don't even know what those songs are, then you're going, what is it? It, it means nothing to you. When you're writing a plural noun proposition paper, you have to assume that the reader, the listener has no idea what you're talking about. Always consider that. Always think about that because then you have to start from a very high view position of explain to me, define, describe, illustrate what it is you're talking about. 
Now, once you've done that, now start describing into more details, something a little bit more personal, a little bit more descriptive. Now you can explain the why. Does that make sense? Good. So plural noun proposition papers, that's what we're asking for. Uh, and when we review pop culture, it's a great exercise. It really is a great exercise. I would challenge you, you know, you write down your, your favorite artists, your favorite movies, your favorite movie stars, your favorite songs, and you start asking yourself, why do I like this? You know, if you're, you know, binge watching a, a TV show on Netflix, why? Why? The, the three reasons why I'm watching this show are, Right, And then maybe you ask yourself this, what is the spiritual value to this song? What is the spiritual value to this movie? What is the, what is the spiritual value to this TV show? And that will challenge you in understanding what it is that you're watching, listening, and examining and reading. Remember the old song, be careful little eyes what you see. Be careful little ears what you hear. And so we want to make sure that we're being careful about what and how pop culture is influencing us. And that's why we're going to use the plural noun proposition papers as our format.